Ankle brace is a structure designed to achieve physical resistance such as a body of water, a valley or a land without blocking the road below it. Is it designed to give way through barrier? and normally something difficult or impossible to get through. There are several prototypes that each have particular purpose and are applicable to various circumstances. For this purpose, factors such as timing, simplification of design, material saving, and pre-release are strongly, are strongly impressive. As you can see, this is our good bridge design model using Lim Pro software. I designed the model according to the specified specification. The overall length of this model is 10 meter. Clear span between edge of supporting equipment is 8 meter. The overall wide is 2 meter. The overall height is 3 meter. This uniform distributed load on this bridge model is 2000 kg or 2 time for overall length of this bridge model and I'm using I-beam on size universal columns 305 times 305 times 283 millimeter for all member bridge so after the bridge design model were done the data analysis from the software can be collected From the data analysis that we get, we can determine the deflection at the center span of the bridge under 2000 kg load. From the result obtained, the deflection was negative 0.00107 mm. From LIMPO analysis, we can get the result of internal force in 23 member in total. And this is the internal forces in tension and compression force. Hello, my name is Sam Bing Long. I'm from Structural Analysis Class Session 4. In this video, I will explain about the final model of my group project. First, we look at the three-dimensional view of the structure. So this is a three-dimensional view. So we will look it later in AutoCAD explanation. So we look at split view first. So this is our group front view. Our front view is like that. So the length is 10,000 millimeters, which is from here here so we got this so in this project we use the simply supported beam so we use a pin support at here and also a roller support at here so the span length which is from the pin support to the roller support is 8000 millimeters so we got this our overall height is from here to here which is 3000 millimeters so next we look at the top view which is the length is same as previous which is 10,000 as here and also the wide is 2,000 millimeters as here so you will look at here which got a yellow line here this means the contact base area at the end uh, we will look it detailedly at the AutoCAD explanation because this already topped by the structure so we can simply know that from here to here is the white which is 2000 and also from here to here is 2000 2000 also the line here is the support support line so we look at the side view which is the height is 3000 mm as here and the white is 2000 mm as here next we look at the elevation view so this is the top elevation this is the side elevation and also this is the front elevation so this is my object file which I already uploaded it on Google Drive so if you want to see the file you can scan the QR code or tap the link below to got the file so let's go back
Today, I am going to present about the manual calculation for the our Bush model. So first, we need to find the force of the UDL uh, for the Bush given. So the Bush given is uh, 2000 kg which is equal to 19.61 kN per meter. Next, we need to find the UDL at each point. Uh, okay, uh, for the point J, uh, which is uh, 9.805 km per meter, uh, at the point L, uh, which is 29.415 km per meter, and uh, for the point A, B, C, uh, and M, they are same, uh, which are 39.22 km per meter and uh, for the point K uh, which is 29.415 km per meter and for the last one is D uh, which is 9.805 km per meter after that we need to find the ration at the e support for the roller support and the pin support. Okay, next I will continue with the with uh, to identify the force if for each member. For this calculation, we use method of joint to find the force. Why we use this method? It is because this method is suitable for this design. All of joint it use a method of joint to find the force and that is joint. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. In conclusion, this section is supposed to help putting the profession into context of its long continuous history and show the remarkable achievement that were made from the time of the very first bridge to the current day. We also have Succeed in achieving the objective of this project, which are first to apply knowledge of structural mechanics, second to solve problem by designing a bridge model, a railway bridge, and second to facilitate uh, facilitating uh, efficient contact between members of the group as they complete a given mission. We have used available public domain software such as LIMPRO to modeling and simulation of the bridge performance. We analyzed the force uh, in, in, internal and external of the member and deflection of the structure. From this project, we are more skilled at using LIMPRO and doing calculations. Next is recommendation. Thrust bridge behave somewhat differently from other bridge type and the methods of increasing load carrying capacity can also be different. The importance of understanding both structural behavior and structural safety are emphasized. So the recommendation towards the model were first by modifying the stiffness parameter of the slab, shear connectors and the bearings so that the properties of the data match to the measurement data. Second. The load carrying capacity of the model is then calculated using the original and updated finite element model respectively with consideration of non-linear material properties. The comparison might shows the bridge load carrying capacity under the present condition is lower than under the design condition whereas is still above the design requirement.